Hello everyone, Adrian here. So today I'm reviewing another exciting gothic novel for you. This time it is Dragonwick by Anya Setin. I was extremely excited to read this because I had seen a film that uh, was based on this years and years and years ago starring Vincent Price. <sighs> I love that man. And I really, really enjoyed it. So I was looking forward to reading the original material that inspired the movie. Now, of course, every now and then you're going to be experiencing this where the book will uh, differ from the movie and vice versa, but that's totally fine. It's cool. That's why you like to go back to and read the original material, because it's awesome. So, Dragonwick tells the story of a simple young farm girl named Miranda Wells, whose family receives a letter from a supposed distant cousin inviting Miranda to stay at the prestigious manor known as Dragonwick to keep company for her wealthy relative's young daughter. Her alleged cousin is Nicholas Van Rijn, who is from a wealthy Dutch family and owns this glorious gothic manor known as Dragonwick. Despite her reservations, uh, Miranda, of course, does happily accept Nicholas's invitation and go to Dragonwick. Shortly thereafter, though, she does notice some strange occurrences. A very obviously strained relationship between Nicholas and his wife. There are often times within the manor that everyone is experiencing some ghastly noises, such as a piano playing and a woman's laughter. And of course, no one can explain it except the servants, who continue to startle Miranda with the ghastly stories surrounding the noises that they hear, but of course Nicholas does his best to shush it. Things get increasingly strange when Nicholas's wife Johanna dies mysteriously and very suddenly, and shortly after the body gets cold, he proposes to Miranda. And some months later, of course, uh, Nicholas and Miranda are married, much to the dismay of her parents. And their marriage certainly is not what Miranda was expecting, let's just say that. Now, in regard to Dragonwick as a whole, it's not your typical gothic novel in which there's like rattling chains and ghosts wandering around and el small elements of horror. This is more along the lines of a gothic romance where there are touches and inferences and hints of horror, but not quite. The, the primary focus in a gothic romance novel is the romance, the relationship, the passion. Now, I very much enjoyed how the author was uh, slipping in references to pop culture around this time, which is during the mid-19th uh, century. And this was around the time that my favorite composer, Donizetti's uh, compositions, especially Lucia de Amramor, was making it to the States. So it made me extremely happy that his name was dropped. And there's even a scene where uh, Nicholas and Miranda visit the home of Edgar Allan Poe pretty sweet. However, there's one thing in this novel that really bothered me, and maybe this was intentional on the author's part, maybe she was trying to depict um, an abusive relationship between Nicholas and Miranda, maybe that's it, but I'm just sharing my opinion. Feel free to disagree with me. Throughout the novel of Dragonwick, Miranda is almost entirely helpless throughout the whole thing. And she's entirely clueless, which I really don't appreciate. She kind of drifts off into her romantic fancies and whatnot, and then it takes her a really long time to realize what's going on. Which... Ugh. Ugh. Just In my opinion, I sincerely think that if the author had given Miranda a more headstrong and willful personality, it would have created more of a struggle and more intrigue um, to depict the struggle of the willpowers between uh, Nicholas and Miranda. That's just me, though. That's the only thing I didn't like about it. That's the only thing I feel like this book could have improved upon. I also think I would have been, um, liked a little more Ghosts and Chains. That's just me, though. <laughs> So, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Dragonwick. I certainly enjoyed reading it. And of course, as always, I will leave a link for it down in the description below so you can seek it out for yourself and give it a read and tell me what you think. And of course, uh, leave your comments down below about the novel and are you excited about reading it? Have you seen the movie? Please, I'd love to hear it. So next, I will be reviewing the works of Alfred Lord Tennyson. Um, I just finished his complete poetry last night and I'm very, 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 very much in love with his work. 
So I'll get to that in my next video, okay? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more uh, gothic novel reviews and gothic literature reviews and absinthe reviews. Let's face it, who doesn't like a little bit of the 19th century? And I will see you guys later. Bye!